Hello, great minds. Welcome to today's smart class. To look at this expression we have on the board before us here. Yeah. The question reads evaluate five. We have two here yeah, at the base, but this is not a base number here. Yeah. This is a different expression from our normal base system or binary system. Now, I begin to wonder what kind of expression is this. All throughout my university days, I never came across this. And now I'm a kind of, I get to know about this and I decide to share this knowledge with my subscribers and some other people all around the world. I know you must have seen expressions of this kind on the internet. This is what we call titration expression, titration expression. And this is not taught in school. And the reason why it is not taught in school is what we want to exploit here in today's math class. Okay. Now, how do we evaluate this? And how do we read these kind of expressions? This is not your binary system. For example, if you have your three base two, look at this. This is three base two. Okay. Now, if you have these two at the top, then we have three to the power of two. Look at the way the base number is written. Okay? Then look at the way the exponent is written here. This is three to the power of two. Or well, this is three base two. But let's come to this other side of the equation. This is your two treated five. What does it imply? Now, when we talk of exponentiation, what does that mean? When you have a certain number raised to another number, or a certain alphabet or variable raised to another variable or another numeral, e.g., if you have your 2 to the power of 2, what does this imply? It means 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 will give us R4. Right? Good. If we decide to take this to 2 to the power of 4, this is simple. This is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, let's erase this. So, 2 times 2, we all know this is 4. And 2 times 2 again, this is also 4 times 4 will give us what? R16. And so 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So handling challenges that have to do with exponentiation is kind of easy. But when we come to these kind of expressions, it's always difficult. Why? Because the resulting figures can actually go out of range. Okay? Because they can be so large. And so that is one of the reasons why this thing is not taught in school, titration equations. Uh, it's not taught in school because they can easily go out of I mean, uh, control in terms of their large result or large figures. So they are more or less of no value to the everyday life. Okay, now let's come to the topic of the day, which is titration equation, which is what we have in Yena. If we have something of this kind, your two, then we now have a bigger two written like this. Two, we treated two. And what does it mean? It means we have to express these two to the number of these equation we have here. Now. So it means two raised to the power two. So we have two towers here. Okay? So two raised to power two. And two raised to power two will give us a four. We all know that, right? Then, what if we change this figure here to 3? So we're going to have here a 3. Then we have 2 to treat 3. And so this is going to give us here 2 to the power of 2 or raised to the power of 2. This is different from or this is not equal to 2 to the power of 2 or in bracket raised to the power of 2. This is different from this. Okay, this we can apply the law of indices, which says that when a number 
or a variable is raised to another number or to another variable and is now bracket or a close in a bracket further raised to another number or variable you can multiply the two exponents because this is an exponent this is an exponent so you can multiply the two of them the law says that if you have e to the power of m n we can separate these two exponents as your e to the power of m always n like this okay so if we have this how do we now compute this this is easy when computing this you don't start from the base here you start from the top here and so we put these two in bracket and further put this in bracket like this so what do we do so your two titrated three will give us what let's look at this together so starting from here this is going to give us two to the power of two that is four and we're going to have our two to the power of four we'll say something of such here that two to the power of four is equal to 16. and so we have your two times two times two into four places and that will further give us what 16. so two titrated three will give us 16. easy right good now we want to take this to four if we take this to four what will be the answer to this now let's erase this and see what this gives us in turn So we want to take your two titrated four. So if we now have our two here titrated four, what does it imply? How many towers are we going to have from here? So we're going to have four towers or four floors from here. So this could be written as our two to the power of two to the power of two to the power of two. Wow, so we have four floors or four towers. Okay, two raised to the power of two, raised to the power of two, for the raised to the power of two. And again, I said you compute from the top downward. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this out. In a clearer form, we can write this as our two to the power of two raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, we put this in bracket first. Then we enclose this, followed by this, and the whole of this, followed by this. Okay? All right. Now, we're having our 2 to treated 4 in the course of this, right? Good. So if we start from the top, like I said earlier, then 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. So we're going to have this to be a 2, to the power of 2 for the raised to 4. So we put this in bracket, then we bracket again. Now we go again. What is 2 to the power of 4? We say that is 16. And so we're going to have here 2 to the power of 16. Right? Good. Now what is 2 to the power of 16? That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 into 16 places for easy calculation you can split this exponent so 2 to the power of 10 plus 6 which we further give us 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 6 and 2 to the power of 10 will give us 10 24 that of 2 to the power of 6 will give us 64 so we're going to have 10 24 times 64 and if you do that carefully we're going to come up with our um c's five five three or uh, four right three six good so with this figure we have in here now now look at the expression we have on this other side we are having our two to treated four is equal to six 5,536. This is English figure, right? But if we decide to go to the next level, which is 2 titrated 5, what will be the answer? It's going to give us a huge figure. 
Now, this is pretty easy. What if we now have figure like, let's say, 5, 50, 10? How do you compute this? That is to say, 5 to the power of 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 5 to the 10th floor. So that will give us a huge figure. And that figure, a very large quantity. Okay, so someone may look at this and say, ah, 5 to the 10, more or less useless. So what is the need of having this in our colleges or in our schools? And that's why I said, in my school days, I never had this. Okay, I was never taught this in my school days. And the reason why, because the results or the figures, the answer that comes from these are always extraordinary in terms of largeness. So look at our expression here now. We're having two to treated five. That is to say two to the power of two to the power of two to the power of two. Up to the fifth floor. What would be the answer to this? So this is equal to what? Leave your own answer in the comment section to see what this gives us. Okay, again, there's another set of equations, uh, expressions that are more dangerous than this situation equation. We call it the hesitation equation or hesitation expression. That, in fact, compared to this, this is even simpler. And so I may produce a video on hesitation equation. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this. Day. Do not forget to drop the answer to this in the comment section. See you in the comment section. But till we meet you again in our next class, keep winning. And do not forget that Jigs does love it. Bye for now.